Dr. Shruti Datta here, and she's a geriatric specialist here. And she's also a speaker at the summit, so let's see how's her experience so far. Oh, this is a great place to get everyone together. And I think um, to also tap into the resources that we have as Indians, mm -hmm. and um, we have so much uh, that we can offer, not to our own families, but to the community in general and to the world as well. You know, for example, Ayurveda, or the kind of eating styles and healthy living styles. Mm -hmm. Yoga came from India, right? That's so it's, it's a great way of living. And as I spoke in my uh, talk, is that uh, yoga is not just doing asanas or vinyasas in the morning or evening. It's a way of life. And yoga and leads into mindfulness. And what is mindfulness? It's pretty much, you know, living in the moment and not really... Living in the moment. Uh, yeah, yes. exactly. And not uh, really thinking about what's going to happen or what are the consequences of mm -hmm. this. Just enjoying the moment, enjoying the little things that mm -hmm. can come from that moment, you know, appreciating sunlight, appreciating the flowers around you. And um, once I started practicing that, I felt like the stress level can go down very much because what you're doing is you're not thinking about the next thing. You're living in the moment and you're getting more resilient. So you're not um, kind of forecasting things or you're not thinking about consequences. So I tell my patients about that and I tell them how helpful it's been for a lot of uh, my families and patients that I um, talk to and I give advice on. For example, if you're eating food and if you're like really relishing the taste of food, you get fuller faster. So that way you're not eating much right so you're eating what you need and that's it and you're realizing that each and every flavor that comes in your mouth really excites you so that is my philosophy of um, healthy living and that I also preach to my patients my family my children and I think we've learned a lot from that and that that all comes from yoga and meditation the roots of India right so I think that's a great way to um, tell people yeah I like it. when you said staying in the moment yeah and I think most of us mm -hmm. don't yeah we just stay in a different yeah world and, right you know, we, right mm -hmm. and uh, you know as uh, people age mm -hmm. they also uh, become more forgetful right you know? so mm -hmm. anything you mm -hmm. any tips or any medication mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. maybe any aromatic mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. that you can mm -hmm. tell mm -hmm. so one of the things again is mindfulness mm -hmm. so if you're mindful you're not causing yourself stress because stress leads to more forgetfulness so for a person who does not have memory loss or memory problems even if they're stressed they're not thinking right so that leads to memory issues you know that can be temporary that can be permanent but the other two very important things that have actually proven to prevent um, dem dementia or memory loss is exercising so um, exercising of 150 minutes per week if you do it you know 20 minutes a day or if you do 30 minutes for five days that really can reverse the process of um, you know early memory loss as well and there's um, recent research um, that has come out and the other thing is our own haldi or haldi, turmeric yeah. right and um, i also tell um, the people that you know using turmeric in um, milk at uh -huh. night that calms you down mm -hmm. that gives you a rejuvenating sleep and that also helps prevent inflammation right so turmeric um, with the aspect of um, it having anti-inflammatory properties it helps reverse the you know aging process or it helps prevent so starting early is the key um, there is um, you know no time for postponement uh, postponement we should start right now and that's what I tell people and yeah sorry Tur go ahead. Tur turmeric can be very like bitter to taste, you right, know, especially right. milk. Can, mm -hmm, we, mm -hmm. you know, can we, you know how I know there are some capsules or something like that? that um, you know, yeah, the, the capsules can, uh, but they don't get absorbed as much to go to your brain. So turmeric in cooked form really helps if you're cooking it in a little bit of ghee or coconut oil, that really helps absorb. And if you use it with milk and black pepper, so that is very helpful. Um, so I have my own YouTube channel called Mindful Scoops. Okay. So if you go there, there's a recipe that I've put in for haldi or turmeric milk that is so helpful because it's tasty um, for the children to the adults anyone I have given um, they always relish the taste so it's not something that you might feel it's um, bitter because uh, once it's cooked it loses the bitterness and then it kind of gives uh, the color and the flavor to food yeah yeah anything else you would like to say yeah, I think, um, you know, start now. It's never too late. Yes. You can reverse the changes and be mindful. Enjoy each moment of the life. That's my philosophy. Start now and be mindful. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you.